And this time it's life or death. tornado was located east of Vincent, moving at 65 miles an hour. I'm not going to sit here and be in Target. Not this girl. Ain't doing it. Oh, hell's breaking loose here. Screw that. My radar meteorologist Matt Capucci with a critical severe weather update for parts of the Plains and the Ozarks. Destructive thunderstorms with widespread 60 to 80 mile per hour winds and a few tornadoes are expected this evening. The National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center is drawing a level 4 out of 5 moderate risk of severe weather. It includes the entire Oklahoma City metro area as well as Moore, Norman, Edmond and Stillwater along Interstate 35. Interstates 40, 44 and the H.E. Bailey Turnpike are also in the red zone as is Lawton Fort City. Call me a trailblazer. Call me crazy. But I am one determined entrepreneur. <laughs> That's me. I get the joy of heading down to Oklahoma City today in the tornadoes. Oh, yeah, I'll call you YouTube. That's awesome. Hi, baby. Hey. I forgot and left my flashlight at home. All right, we got a flashlight. Actually not too bad for brightness. Brightest one they had. Hey, check it out. It's cool bus. You know why it's cool bus? It's cool bus because all pink buses are cool. I've had one problem after another, after another, after another, after another, after another, literally. And this time it's life or death. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a tornado warning. Confirmed tornado was located east of Vincent, moving at 65 miles an hour. Golf ball size hail. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and be in Target. Not this girl. Ain't doing it. Oh, hell's breaking loose here. I'm gonna go. Okay, guys, I'm going. Reach out, don't wait. No more time. Come on, go green, go green, go green, go green. I'm crawling ass out of here right now. Stay green, stay green, stay green. Coming through. God, it sounds like a hurricane right now. Go green, go green, go green. I am 
trying to get my ass out of here. So we got two tornadoes out west, one confirmed on the ground, causing devastating damage. We got 80 to 100 mile per hour winds, possibly faster, heading straight this way. And every storm has 80 to 100 mile per hour winds, which is not even a question, it will throw the truck over. We actually have two semi tractor trailers here. Uh, he said the first the first semi was picked up and thrown off of the interstate. Uh, the second semi driver saw that occur and he tried to stop. He was also picked up and thrown off the interstate. And the car you see here uh, was blown off the interstate when it tried to stop. Uh, they did have to extri extricate one of the semi drivers. Well, we had kind of lost power, and before I can even blink. I could hear the wind coming all of a sudden, all the back windows where the kids' bedrooms are. I could hear them uh, just crashing, busting out, and the wind just threw me back, and I'm screaming. It was like a blizzard inside the house, and I was screaming for my kids, you know, because they were in their bedrooms. <laughs> I didn't know if they were hurt or anything. There is a car on top of this house. The roofs are just completely gone. The cars here in the street, there's, there's this garage door is busted in. There is an unbelievable amount of damage. It 